Hey guys, it's MJ, the student tech tree, and this video is going to be on tax. And this is for subject CT2, Finance and Financial Reporting, and it is chapter 3. Um, this video is going to be audio only, so without further ado, let's jump straight into the material. I'm going to be talking about personal tax, company tax, taxation of capital gains, other taxes, and double taxation relief. But before I get into the material, let's have a quick little chat about the effects of tax. I mean, the first thing you guys need to realize is that tax is bad. Okay, Tax causes behavioral changes that might not benefit the overall economy. So remember, tax is bad. And also tax, you, we're going to see, gets quite confusing and it's different in each country. And it almost becomes a game of cat and mouse. New rules and regulations are made for tax, but then new loopholes are found in order to exploit it and avoid tax. Now tax overall is expensive to calculate, it's expensive to collect, and governments need to find other ways of raising capital. But until they do that, we still need to learn about it, so here we go. Personal tax, okay, this affects um, all of us. Um, whether you're earning a salary or a wage, that's gonna be taxed. If you're a sole trader or a partner, the profit you make, that's tax. If you inherit a lot of money from your family, that's tax. If you make um, income on your investments, that's tax. If you basically, anything that you're doing economically is getting taxed either directly or indirectly. And tax tends to happen on your cash flows and governments, they are kind of nice. They only want to tax those uh, revenues once. But when it comes to the rates and allowances, they're very country specific. And I want to make this a, a very generic uh, video. So we're not going to be going into, oh, so much percentage for this and so much percentage for that. Okay, let's jump straight to corporate tax. Um, governments also tax companies, which is a little bit crazy seeing that the more companies that come to a country, the better it benefits uh, economically. And it's a big disincentive for uh, corporations to go into countries that have large taxes. But anyway, income's taxed, capital gains is taxed. And one of the big things that I have a problem with is that they're taxing the accounting profits, which means the accountants will sit down with the CEO and they'll say, look, if we buy these certain things that may not necessarily be beneficial to the company, um, we can cut down on our profit and therefore have to pay less tax. So for an example, um, there's a rumor going around that there is a company that purchases art. So they spend millions and millions on art and then every year they depreciate the art. And now they can set depreciation as an expense of their accounting profits um, to you know, make the balance sheet appear like they're making less so they pay less tax. And then once they've depreciated this art for a you know, various amount of years, they sell it for a minimum amount, like for one rand or one dollar, to an executive. And that executive then takes home like a 10 million uh, rand or 10 million dollar piece of art. Um, but like I said, it's just, just a rumor, although you do go into some of these corporates and they have stunning art. So you've got to be, you've got to be curious about what's happening there. But that's the thing is... Government can now use tax to manipulate uh, behavior by making these funny tax rules. I mean, some countries, they can maybe tax dividends, and in this way, they think, oh, it will, re it will encourage companies to reinvest in the business and grow, whereas the adverse effect is that it kind of scares away potential shareholders. So remember, tax is bad. Um, okay, let's talk about capital gains tax. Let's say you buy something and its value increases and you sell it and you make you know, a lot of money. Well, guess what? You have to pay tax. Okay, some assets are exempt. Uh, depends on the country you're in, your private car, your home, foreign currency. And I love this one. Government securities could be exempt from tax. And another key thing to realize on this is some countries may allow for indexation. So what this means, they say you buy, a, buy an asset and you sell it 10 years later, and the only reason it's, it's increased in value is because of inflation, then this indexation will take that into consideration and you may only have to pay less tax for that. 
But that's the whole thing is that government loves to tax. I mean, now let's talk about some of the other taxes. Um, there's stamp duty tax. There's value added tax, otherwise known as VAT. That's where you're paying it on every transaction. There's inheritance tax, which can be devastating for some people. Uh, I mean, I watched the show in on the BBC about people who have these lovely, beautiful homes. Uh, parents die and they get taxed on this inheritance. Now, this mansion or something costs a fortune. They can't afford to pay the, the inheritance tax, so they have to sell this massive mansion at like half the price just to pay for the tax. So in effect, they kind of lose the family home. It's, it's quite terrible. On top of that, there's also property tax. There's sin tax, so you pay more tax on alcohol, cigarettes, and various things like that. Um, there's new things come up called sugar tax, so Coca-Cola and sweets and all those things, that's going to be taxed. And you can also be taxed on fuel. Um, so yeah, the government taxes a lot of things. One thing they try and do is they try to have a double taxation agreement with other countries. So if you're, paying, if you're doing business in different countries, there's tax rules so that you only pay once. Um, you know, it would really suck if you got taxed twice. Uh, but this opens up another big can of worms. I mean, if we see Apple have got some offices in Ireland, Uber has some offices in Netherlands, they're trying to take advantage of the various tax um, rules and regulations in different territories. So much so you get tax professionals where this is their job, is to find out where these loopholes are. I mean, that's why you can you know, make an account in Bermuda or go to a tax haven like Monaco to try and get away from tax. Um, so overall, I mean, tax is bad and governments need to think of alternative ways of increasing income or decreasing expenditure. Because, I mean, with the rise of new technology, say as Bitcoin, it's going to be quite tricky for governments to enforce tax. So hopefully, if you're listening to this in three years' time, um, tax is a thing of the past. But if you're listening to it uh, quite recent, like, you know, now in 2016 or 2017, uh, you have to know this stuff for your exam, but like I said, hopefully it becomes something of the past. Thanks so much for listening, and please subscribe because I will be making more videos on Chapter 4 and the other topics in Subject CT2. Cheers, guys.